What's up everybody, this is Sam Madison, Madison Avenue. Got one of the best offensive linemen in the game. Going into year six. Yeah, we can say that. And, you know, over the last couple of years, man, me and you, we done ran into each other quite a bit. And uh, I don't know why that's beeping, because I got my seatbelt yeah, on. I, I know you lot there. Yeah, safety first. <laughs> Bro, all the time, and it's right over here, Jason Taylor, golf classic. Bro, why y'all always cheat, man? <laughs> well, I, tell, listen, I, I tell everybody before that golf tournament, you ain't got to worry about it. We coming in first place. Okay? <laughs> We're going to buy a championship today. <laughs> and, and somehow, you guys always end up right in there. You know, you do a lot of stuff in the community, and, um, you know, something the Miami Dolphins always, you know, cherish most is giving back. How's that, you know, part of your everyday, you know, life and situation? Well, it's so big for me to give back to the community. You know, I, I was a guy that grew up, you know, less fortunate than a lot of kids. And so, you know, now that I have the platform to be able to give back to kids and give back to the community that, that's been so great to us, you know, I, I cherish that and I, you know, I take advantage of every moment I get with it. But uh, just like we got uh, Vernon Carey's golf tournament coming up on the 8th. I already, I already, he already know. He already know what time it is. I'm winning that one. <laughs> Big Burn. Yeah, he's still doing it. He does a great job in the community too. So you know, we've been friends. He, he's a guy that took me under his wing my rookie year, and uh, you know, we've been friends ever since. Back in your hometown, you guys do um, you know charity football camps and you know get out there with the kids and you know making your presence known as well. Yeah, we got our charity uh, our, our charity weekend back in Lakeland. We the Pouncy weekend. It, it starts July 8th. We finish up on the 10th. What we do is uh, that Friday we have a celebrity basketball game where we have a big pot and uh, there'll be four teams that compete for the pot. And then Saturday morning we wake up. Uh, we had a camp with the kids and then Sunday is our big finale like golf tournament where golf outing where everybody comes out and that's kind of where we get all our money to give back to the community and uh you know pay for our whole weekend there you go yeah. I, i'm north florida lakeland right yeah you know, yeah right down the road you know about lake. You know, come on man i'm right there <laughs> mc lo monticello okay. tallahassee you know and, and you know coming out and being from lakeland you know you're right there in the middle of florida state Florida, yep. being recruited by UM, you know, what was that decision like, you know, to end up going to the University of Florida versus some of those other schools? It was tough because, uh, you know, we had a guy, he, he was a D-line coach for Florida State, he's still, still present to this day, uh, Odell Higgins, and uh, he's from mm -hmm. Polk County, you know, uh, he recruited me and my brother really heavily, and, uh, you know, we felt bad at the time when we decommitted from Florida State because we felt like we owed it to him because he's a guy that noticed our talent outside of anybody else, uh, but when we met with Coach Meyer and, you uh, and versus me with Coach Bowden, we felt like Coach Meyer was more of a, you know, on-hand kind of guy, a guy that we could relate to more. He was a younger coach, and you know, we decided to go up to a camp our senior year of high school at the University of Florida. Chris Rainey invited us to the camp. He said, "Man, just come on up." We say, "Man, we don't want to go there. That ain't our team." You know, we're big Seminole fans, and. We went up to the camp that weekend. We called our mom. Was coming home. We said, "Hey, mom, we committed to Florida, to the University of Florida." She was crying. She said, "You better call him right now <laughs> <laughs> and tell him you're going to Florida State." I said, "Man, we can't, man. We can't. We we love it." So we ended up taking them up there on a the trip, and they loved it too. And it just you know worked out for the best. Our sisters didn't talk to us for a year though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you talk about your other siblings. Yeah. You know, you have a couple of sisters, and and of course your twin brother. You know, how close is that bond? And how was it growing up, you know, two twins, identical twins, but yet still, did they always get it right or sometimes they got it wrong? You know, it, it was it was great. You know, we're sort of a family oriented family is that, you know, we're really, really close with our sisters. And, you know, me and my, the way me and my brother looked at it now, now that we're older and more mature, we, you know, we, our sisters took a back burner to me and my brother when we were growing up because we were the ones playing sports, we were the ones that the mom had to be, the dad had to be at the weekend, spending time with at the football games. So now we feel like we owe them the world. So now what we do is, you know, we try and give back to them as much as possible because we know that without them taking a the back burner to us, we wouldn't be the way we're at today. So. Yeah, definitely. And now you know you moved on, you're married, have kids, oh, yeah. so you understand that part of it. You know, I, I had an opportunity to play next to you. Uh, we were at uh, Lamar Miller's oh. <laughs> golf tournament, uh, bowling, bowling alley, yeah. and I must say, you're terrible. <laughs> I ain't never, I never, I never said I was a great bowler. But what I am is I'm a competitor. Now I get out there. I was, I was trying my best, but boy, 
bowling just ain't my thing. I think my hands are all beat up from being a lineman. Yeah, there you go. And, and your wife did a very good job because she was schooling me as well. well she's short. She, she, she lowered to the ground, so it's easy for her to throw that ball. <laughs>